Hello, everybody. Welcome to Connected Community Health Sport. My name is Jacob Carroll, and you are here live with day 54 of our free body weight exercise program for weight loss. So if you're new here, just find us today. Um, we are here to make health and fitness accessible in a variety of ways. Um, some of the ways we do this is through our virtual live exercise streams. And we also do blog posts, a lot of social media things. And, you know, also looking to try to host some community events in the area and, of course, our online and in-home personal training as well. And so I just wanted to kind of get that out for those of you who are new here, maybe just finding us today. But if you've been following along, it is great to see you again. And I hope you are ready for a good workout today because we are moving into the 45-minute sessions. I know we were at that this week, but um, I was a little bit off the schedule. So, um you know, you guys got a little bit of break in my session. It was only a half hour. It's supposed to be 45 minutes, but you know, not going to be going easy on you all. But today's stream, we got a great workout planned, you know, going through through all the movement patterns, completely body weight, no equipment needed for today's workout or any of our workouts for that matter. All you are going to need is about an arm's length of space. And, you know, <laughs> that's it. You know, just a little bit of space to move around and your own body in 45 minutes of time and you should be all set for today's workout. So this is week 18. I also want to share with you guys the quote of the week, which is setting a goal is not the, is not the main thing. It's deciding how you will go about achieving it and staying with the plan. And that's a quote by Tom Landry, former Dallas Cowboys coach. You know, I think that really is a great, you know, set thing for the week. You know, great quote of the week because, you know, same thing. It's really sticking to that plan, finding, having a goal, setting that goal, and then, you know, keeping consistent at it to reach those goals. So I really thought that was a great quote. And, you know, this week we also are talking about sleep habits. So you're going to want to stick around towards the end of the stream and um, get some good information about that. But, you know, I have been trying to go through my little spiel as I'm working out, but, you know, that doesn't seem to be very effective because I keep getting off schedule. So we're going to save that one for the end for today, everybody. So without further ado, we are going to get things started here for a second. I also want to apologize. My screen looks very, I don't know, grainy or it looks like too bright. But um, usually that's not an issue. I'm not sure if it's just really sunny today or what. But yeah, apologizing in advance. But we're going to get into the stream here going to be starting here with a quick warm-up. Just follow along with me, everybody. All right. So first move here. Why does my screen seem like extra wide, too? I don't know. Hopefully, it's not too bad for you all watching live or recorded. But we're going to be starting off with some hip openers. Bringing the hip out. Coming right back in. Same thing, just working on, as we're going out, we are working on external rotation. Same thing as we're bringing the hip in, that is internal rotation there. Really important moves for the hips. And same thing, you don't gotta be really getting the hip out super wide here. You can keep it low or another suggestion is grabbing onto the wall would be a great way to give yourself a little bit of extra stability here in this move, get a little bit more range of motion in the hips. All right, great job, everybody. We're gonna do a little bit of leg swings now. So same thing, you can, be, you can grab onto the wall here again. Same thing, just getting a little bit of that back and forth motion, swinging the leg like a pendulum. Usually do this in the cool down, but this could be a great one in the warm up as well. We're gonna switch the sides up. Same thing, other side. You don't have to use the wall. You can just stand. Sometimes I like get in the arms swinging with the leg. I think it really helps keep the balance. Same thing. Do whatever is feeling most comfortable for you. Not everybody's going to have the balance. <laughs> I don't have the balance. You see falling over right there. But you know, just keep moving through this pattern. Oh, falling again. All right. Done with those leg swings. Great job, everybody. We're going to be opening up the mid-back. A little bit now so i want to have the arms right out in front we're going to be just opening the mid back try to follow the arm with the eyes trying to bring it behind you 
Great job, everybody. Same thing, another variation for this one here. Same moon pattern if you want to try this one from the ground. You can do the same thing, reaching up to the sky. Same pattern, same thing, just giving a little bit of variation here. Both working. The same muscles in the mid-back, just a little bit. Different variations there. All right, hope that is feeling good for everybody. Our next move, we're going to be moving the neck around a little bit. So we're just going to be moving in some full circles. I don't really want you to go to your end range of motion here. We're just going to be rolling through nice and smoothly, working within your current range of motion. Then, you know, as things start warming up a little bit, maybe you want to increase the range of motion. The same thing. You don't want to be going full range right off the bat. Work within your range, get things warmed up. Let's go the other way now. Same thing, just trying to look in a full circle. Same thing as you see, I'm turning my head, looking up to the sky, looking down as I come around. Just really just moving this head, getting things warmed up. All right, we're gonna work on the neck for a few more seconds. Same thing, this one, palms down, pointing fingers, reaching towards the ground. I want you to really just try to turn like you're trying to look behind you without rotating your torso or hips at all. And the same thing, but this doesn't have to be a really intense stretch. We're really just moving, looking that side to side to get these head and neck muscles moving. Oh, I mean, not really your head muscles, but you know, they connect into your head. That's why moving the neck and moving the head around can be so good for warming up that neck. So last move here, the warm up, let's get some shoulder circles going. Start off small and forward. Same thing, I apologize again. I'm not sure why my stream quality doesn't look so good. Coming in like really bright. Usually just closing the curtains is the trick, but I, I don't know, maybe it's shining right in today, so. All right, let's move them backwards, same thing. Just pretending like we are drawing small circles in the air here. Great job, everybody. I'm gonna keep it moving, then we're gonna get into the workout. We got a really good one in here today. Got a lot of variety, I know things. Been a little bit repetitive, but I think we have all new moves except for two or three, which is pretty great. And, oh, I do have the timer on. Don't worry, we're not starting yet. All right. So, 45 seconds. Coming right up very shortly. Sorry, I had, to, I had to move this thing around. I actually didn't even turn the volume down. Okay, so now getting into the first move of the stream. And now you can't see the ground. That's not good. Okay, hopefully that's better. I know it's bright. But so first move, we got floor touches or a deadlift, however, whatever you like to call it. And then you're just reaching down to the ground, keeping that slight bend in the knees. And same thing, we can do a staggered stance, bring one leg back to more of a single leg reach. Or the new variation for today's stream, you can put the foot up on a couch. And same thing, same pattern, reaching, putting that foot up, pushing it into the couch or a wall, that was the object, same pattern. I want everybody to get ready for that. We're going to get going in three, two, one. Let's go. Same thing. I'm going to be showing the variation with the leg on the wall. We're going for 45 seconds of work, 45 seconds of rest. Same thing. You don't have to go. You can still just reach down to the ground with two legs. Find the difficulty. Find the variation that works the best for you. It's the same thing. You want to try something new. Put that, push that leg up into the wall, push it against the couch, and just pretend like you're reaching down to the ground to pick up that object. All right, 10 more seconds, everybody. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. 
great job. Same thing, we got 45 seconds of rest, and we're going into our next move, which is a bent over reach to row. So same thing, you're gonna be in a strong bent over position, like so. And you're going to reach down to the ground, pull that arm up. Reach down to the ground, pull that arm up. Same thing, one arm is gonna be up full time. You're gonna be reaching and rowing at the same time. Well, reaching and then rowing. Alternating arms, we're gonna be going in 10 seconds. And same thing, a variation here. If you want to keep one arm on the hip while you're doing it to help support the body weight, great variation with this too. But get ready. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Same thing. I'm going to keep the arm up, holding in that position. 45 seconds. I'm going to be showing this from the side of my foot. Keeping that flat back. Reach down. Pull up. Great exercise. Same thing, you're really going to be feeling this in the lower body and the hamstrings to hold this position. And that's why I say there's nothing wrong with getting to this position right here where you are supporting your body weight on your knees. Nothing wrong with that. We got 10 more seconds. Let's finish strong, everybody. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Way to work. We got pull to press or D1 shoulder. So this one, we're going to be going through both sides, switching up about halfway. I'll let you know when to switch. But the arm is going to be coming across the body and point. Coming across, looking like an old school disco move right here, coming up. But this was one in physical therapy they used to say, it's like unsheathing your sword, like you have a sword, you know, back in the medieval times and you're coming out and coming diagonal. And so same thing, other side, I'll let you know when to switch. Can we stand and work on some pulling? Three, two, one, let's go. Same thing, coming across the body. Sometimes I like to think standing in a position where nobody could push you over. Strong, stable stance. Great work, everybody. Keep it up a little bit longer. And switch. You know, it's been a while for me since I've done this motion. And honestly, it feels great on my shoulder. Same thing, just trying to pull that sword out. When you're coming right here, sorry from this side. See, I'm keeping the arm close to the body. I'm not coming out. With a straight arm, I'm pulling, keeping it close like you're taking that sword out. Three, two, one, and done. Great job here with that one, everybody. Fourth move coming up. Another new one, a little bit complicated. I know you all got it in you. So left foot is going to, or left foot, right foot, whatever one you're going to start. It's going to be going opposite arm to opposite elbow. We're going to be switching halfway. So Foot is going to come back and heel forward and back and then to the elbow. So a little bit complicated forward, back, up, heel, touch, toe, touch, then up. Heel, touch, toe, touch, up. So the same thing, other side. Heel, touch, toe, touch, up. Heel, touch, toe, touch, up. All right, everybody. Three, two, one, let's go. Same thing, bring it forward, bring it back. Knee, same thing. We're going to be switching it up every time. Heel touch, toe touch up. Heel touch, toe touch up. Heel touch, toe touch. Keep moving through, everybody. Great job. A lot of single leg stability. Core, great stuff. Switching sides now. Same thing. Heel touch, toe touch. Now going to the right elbow. Heel touch, toe touch. Great work, everybody. Same thing. Find that comfortable pace. I know this is a new move. It's going to be a little bit difficult at first. Just keep it up. Heel touch, toe touch, and back up. Always going from a heel touch, bring it all the way back, then finishing with that knee to elbow. Three, two, one, and done. Great job. That one, everybody. Standing too close. My head's getting cut off. But next move coming up, we got squats. Classic, one of my favorites, a very fundamental moving pattern. We do 
in everyday life. So just pretending like we are sitting in a chair and standing up. Same thing, you can actually sit in a chair and stand up. This is a great variation. Get ready, we're going to three, two, one. Let's go. Doesn't matter what type of variation you are doing with this one. I'm gonna be showing the sit to stand, but 45 seconds of squatting. It's gonna be difficult for anybody. But if you really wanna challenge yourself with this one, you can add some jump squats. Trust me, 45 seconds of that will really get you working. So same thing, find that variation. Same thing, you can find that depth. Maybe it's only feeling comfortable going down just a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Work within your range. It's going to get better over time. Three, two, one, and great job. All done with that one. We got push ups coming up next. So we got 45 seconds still. But if you're going, you could go from the wall. The further your feet are away, the harder this is going to be, the closer you get to the ground, the harder this is going to be. Same thing, you can go from the edge of your couch. You can also go from your knees. You can go from your toes. You can lay on the ground and then just push yourself away from the ground without actually moving. It's still going to be working a lot of those same muscles. It's a great way to get stronger at that push. But get ready. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Same thing. I'm going to be going for my knees. Same thing. I notice with 45 seconds, my form starts going a little bit south. If I go on my toes all the time. So this is a variation that I like. This variation works for me. I encourage you to find the same one for yourself. Great work, everybody. Still got 15 more seconds. It's a long time to be pushing. I know. 10 seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We got alternating snow angels coming up next. So, you're gonna be in this strong bent over position. We'll show from the side actually. Same thing, alternating one arm at a time. The other one stays back. We've done these snow angels before. And same thing, you can do these on the ground as well. You can see, start the one up. Try to keep that arm up the whole time. Keep moving through. I'm gonna be showing from the ground on this variation. Get ready, because we're going at three, two, one. Let's go. The same thing, if this is feeling a little bit too difficult, you can relax the arm on the ground. But if you can, try to keep it up the whole time. Really difficult move here. Great job, everybody. Come on, keep it up. You're at the halfway point. Good work. 10 more seconds, come on. Three, two, one, and great job. That one definitely burning the shoulders from the ground and sitting down, whatever, what variation you're doing. That's a tough one, holding that arm up that whole time. But great, great job with that, everybody. We got alternating bear crawls. So a few variations. I know this one is a little bit difficult. So you're gonna be leaning into the wall. My wall is in a good spot, but you're essentially gonna be leaning into the wall with the arms above. You're going to be like pulling the arm off, try to give it a hold for a few seconds. Same thing. You can also do this one from the ground. Same thing, I'm going to be knees a little bit off the ground. Same thing, hold for a little bit. Drop the arm, do it from the wall, do it from the ground. We're getting going in three, two, one, let's go. 
Same thing as you can see, I'm alternating pulling the hand up if you're going from the ground. The same thing, I know you can't really see me. I don't really have an accessible wall and camera. The same thing, get the feet away a little bit, arms fully extended, pull that arm off the wall a little bit. As soon as I take the arm off the wall, I could definitely feel the core start to working. Definitely feeling the shoulders, trying to keep the body in symmetry. If we keep it up, we got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really great job, everybody. We got floor touch coming up next. Why does my camera look deformed? Oh, well, I really don't know what's going on. But we got floor touch. So remember, you can do this. Same thing with both legs. You can bring one leg back. You can put one leg, push up against the wall. Same thing, same pattern. Find variation that works for you. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Same thing, I forgot to show this variation. The same thing, you can keep the hands on the hips and just come down as far as comfortable. Same thing, you control the range, you control the intensity. I'm just here to show you a few different variations. Great work, everybody. Keep moving through that pattern. And then you may even switch it up mid set if you would like. Reaching down to the ground like you're trying to pick that object up. Three, two, one, and great job. Sorry, notification on my computer. Sorry, I just had to close that out. All right. Back to the workout. Well, back to our rest period before the workout. So, um, what we got next? Bent over, reach to row. Remember, this is gonna be that one. You have the hand on the hip, reach, pull back, reach, pull back. Same thing. You can keep that arm up into that row, or same thing. You can support the body weight on the knee. Do what feels comfortable for you. We're gonna get it going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Same thing, we're holding it up the full time. Remember, really try to reach down to the ground from this position. And same thing, pull it up. And when you're in that pull, you can see how my elbow tucked right to the side. I'm not cranking it up really high, keeping it in line with my shoulder, tight up against the side of my body. Remember, same thing, find that strong flat back position. You don't want to be like arching the back up here. Try to find flat and same thing, nothing wrong with supporting yourself in that position as well. Great work, everybody. Three, two, one. That's how you do it. Really great job, everybody. And same thing as always. We're moving right to the second round. We're still going to go through this three times. And you're really going to want to stick in this till the end make sure you get some of these sleep tips sleep it's our pillow of the week really important stuff about sleep you're going to want to check out that blog when it comes out in the following week as well but you know if you haven't watched and we get those tips a week early so 15 more seconds and then a little bit of complicated move remember heel forward toe elbow heel toe elbow Heel, toe, elbow. Get ready. We're going three, two, one. Let's go. Heel, toe, elbow. Same thing. Moving through this pattern. Same thing. You're going to kind of be using a little bit of that ankle single leg stability, especially when you reach that front leg out. Same thing. If you want to reach really far back and really far forward, that's going to make this a little bit more intense. Switch sides. Heel, toe, good work. Great job, everybody. The same thing, you can start going right into the heel touch. I know sometimes I mess up, I kind of lose my balance and I gotta go back forward, then back again. 
Great job. And done with that one. We got halfway through the workout here. Really great job, everybody. We have the squats coming up next. Remember, find your variation. Pretend like you are sitting in that invisible chair, like there's that chair behind me. I'm just going to take a seat. Come right back up. Same thing, use the couch if you need it. We well, still got 20 more seconds. Get yourself prepared, get a drink, catch your breath, do whatever you gotta do. Because we are more than halfway through. Finish strong in this home stretch here, everybody. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, squat time. Coming up, coming back down, pretending like you are sitting in that chair. Really great work. And so same thing, another thing with this, you know, some people, you know, they might feel more comfortable with the toes, you know, pointing straight out. Some people might be feel a little bit more comfortable with the feet externally rotated a little bit. I know that's kind of what feels better for me. Same thing, I have pretty limited internal rotation with my hips, but my external rotation is pretty good. So same thing, being in a slightly externally rotated stance, it's a little bit more comfortable. For me, three, two, one, great job. Same thing, the stances can change, you know, especially if you're really challenging yourself or doing a lot of weight, maybe like a barbell squat or something like that. But when you're just squatting your body weight, pretending like you are sitting in a chair, you know, same thing. Form is important. You don't want to do anything that's painful or gets you hurt. The same thing if everybody's body's not the same, everybody's gonna have a slightly different stance different limb lengths, different anatomy. So nobody is going to have perfect, perfect form. Every form is going to be a little bit different to meet their body, their injury history, their movement history. I'm talking a little bit too much. Get ready. We got push-ups in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And then I'm going to be going for my knees. This is the variation that feels good. Remember, we're only in our second round. We still got one more round through this. Another key thing with these workouts is pacing yourself. You don't want to be going so hard in the first round that you can't make it through the second round. But at the same time, you don't want to have so much energy after the third round that you feel like you could do a fourth. So a good way to kind of pace yourself. Same thing, maybe you notice you're going a little bit too fast. Maybe slow down the intensity. Maybe try a different variation. That next time through, but three, two, one, and done. Really great job, everybody. Push-ups done, alternating snow angels coming up next. I'm gonna show them the bent over variation this time. So, same thing, finding, I like to find that bent over position by kind of letting the hands come down the thighs kind of rest with the hands on the knees. And you can see I'm, I'm in a pretty flat back and knees are a little bit bent. Same thing, arms out in front. And you're gonna be going one arm at a time, holding that other arm out in front. You're gonna be going in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good work, everybody. Same thing, really. Working these shoulders here, really working that lower body. Definitely a full body program here. Same thing, I can't, I can't even tell if this is supposed to be a shoulder workout or a leg workout. I mean, in reality, it is both. But it's hard to tell which one is, is hard, which honestly, I think is a great sign. True sign of a great full body movement. Can't tell which one you're working hard. Here we go, great job, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. And same thing also, we got to alternating bear curl coming up next. Number four, trying to show you're gonna be leaning into the wall a little bit, kind of on your toes. And then going one arm, just like, bringing it away from the wall, coming back, working on some shoulder stability, working on core and the whole body working together. 
the same thing. You can also do this from an all fours position, keeping the toes about an inch off the ground. Give it a little bit of hold at the top. Find your variation. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Same thing. Maybe you want to hold a little bit longer. Maybe you want to just do a quick hold like that. This bear crawl is a very tough move. I don't care what fitness level you are at. Great work, everybody. We got 20 seconds. You're born halfway there. Keep pushing, everybody. Really working on the core, hips, arms, everything all in one. Really tough move. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. That is a tough one. I forgot my water. Give me 10 seconds. I'll be back. I apologize. Sorry about that. I had to get a quick drink myself. We got floor touches coming up next. Third time through. Remember, reaching down to the ground, coming back up. You can step that leg back, keep it on the wall. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So I was moving quick there. Shouldn't have forgot my water. Oversight on my part. Same thing, I'm reaching down to that leg. Like I'm picking that box up off the ground. The same thing. Nothing wrong. We just going from that two point stand or two foot stance. Same thing, you can just slide the hands down the hips and find that strong bend over position. Work within your range. Three, two, one. Really great job. Alternating bent over row, AKA bent over. Reach and pull. Remember, reach down to the ground, pull that arm up, then a little that stretch as you can see down. You can see how this lat, this arm goes fully extended as I'm reaching, and then I get that full pull to great movement. You got 15 seconds to break. Same thing, get another drink if you need it. I know I do. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, when you're coming up on this pull, try to keep that elbow close to the body. And as you see right here, I don't want my elbow flaring out. Keep that elbow tight to the side. I know it helps me. feel like I'm definitely getting that a little bit more in the lat. Great work, everybody. Here we go. Come on, finish strong here. We're in the last round. Come on. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Really great job with that one, everybody. Next one, we got the pull to press. A little bit of a shoulder move. Bringing back that 80s disco. Come on. Same thing. Remember, we're not going to be going super wide arm. Try to keep the arm close up. As you see, I'm kind of bending at the elbow. Trying to keep my hand almost like sliding. That's actually a good cue. Almost like you're sliding your elbow across your body to move back into this reach into that pocket. Read into that sheath and pull out the sword. That's what they used to say to me in physical therapy. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, we're going to be switching sides as we go. This is a great shoulder movement. Very common rehab movement, actually as well. That doesn't mean just has to be for rehab. 
And we've got no weight going in this. It forces you to use a lot of stabilizing muscles here. So you might be feeling this fatigue pretty quickly. Let's switch sides, other pocket. Since maybe you want to get in a little bit of rhythm, just bring out some of those disco moves. Great job, everybody. Remember, try to keep that hand close to the body and be reaching across, finishing that external rotation. Great job. Done with that one. We got elbow to knee. So remember, maybe this will help me showing it from this side. So focus back, come forward onto the heels, back, and then to the thing. So forward, back, <laughs> back, forward, back, knee. So then you go forward, back, knee, and drop right into that heel forward each time. So get yourself ready. Remember, we're switching halfway through. So Wait for that call out. We're going to be going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Back, forward, back, knee. Back, forward, back, knee. <laughs> Oops. That's a confusing thing. Sometimes I'll be messing up a little bit, but you know, it's okay. We all mess up a little bit. Great work. One more rep and then we're switching. And let's go. And we're back, forward, back to the knee. Back, forward, back to the knee. Great job, everybody. Keep breathing, keep moving through. It's not an easy move by any means. And we are done with that one. Great job, everybody. Squats coming up, four more moves. I know you got any, let's finish strong. Great 45 minute, completely bodyweight workout. Getting a good sweat in today. I feel like I'm getting a good workout. I hope you are too. You know, same thing. If you're not feeling like you're, you're feeling it much yet, I want you to really push yourself. You got four exercises left. And remember, we're gonna talk a little bit more about sleep patterns, how to get into healthier habits, recommended sleep cycles and so make sure you want to stay tuned for that we have squats coming up in five four three two one let's go same thing i'm finding that depth that works for me same thing maybe you feel like you can really get deep into the squat same thing i'm challenging myself a little bit more going pretty deep with these same thing you don't have to work within your range you can get a great workout only dropping a few inches. Trust me, I don't care what fitness level you are at currently. You work within your range, you get better, you make improvements over time. That's what it's all about. We have 10 more seconds of squatting, people. And I'm like, you're sitting in that invisible chair. Three, two, one. That's how you do it. You did a great job with that one, everybody. We got three more moves, push-ups, snow angels, bear crawl. Let's finish strong here, everybody. 30 seconds left. All right, remember push-ups from the wall, from the ground, from your knees, from your toes. Does not matter to me when the last one, you're gonna be pushing for a full 45 seconds, so find that variation that feels good for you, that works good for you, that challenges you. We're going to be going in three, two, one, let's go. Same thing, just like you're pushing yourself away from the ground. Same thing, it could be from the wall, from the floor, doesn't matter. You can even hold this bottom position and just push yourself away. But find the variation that feels good for you. We're still about halfway through. Finish strong. Same thing, maybe you don't feel comfortable going the full depth. Completely up to you, you find your range of motion. Three, two, one. 
two, one. That's how you do it, everybody. Daily, great job. Alternating snow angels. I'm gonna do these from the ground one more time. Remember, if you're doing these in the bent over position, find that strong bent over stance, both arms up, one arm at a time. The same thing, if that's feeling a little bit too difficult, you can still go one arm at a time from the, from the hips. The same thing, it can be very taxing on the lower body, especially this late in the workout. I'm gonna be showing that prone variation. Getting ready in three, two, one. Let's go. If you can, try to keep these hands off the ground. Good work, everybody. I'm not gonna talk for the rest of this move. I'll be honest, this is pretty difficult for me. It's a struggle to keep a conversation going while doing this. So everybody, let's just finish strong, work through this for these last 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that one burns the shoulders for sure. All right, very last move here. Don't quit on me now. Let's get through this last move. Alternating bear crawl. Remember, you can go from the wall. Same thing like the push-ups. Further your feet are away, harder it's going to be. You can pull that arm off the wall, finding that stability in the shoulder. Or same thing. You can do it from all fours in that bear crawl position. We're getting ready. We're going to be going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I'm going from that bear crawl position. Knees about an inch off the ground. Same thing. Pulling that hand off the ground for a second. Forcing you to use that core stability. Same thing, maybe you want to do a little bit of a longer hold. Maybe you want to go really quick. Or same thing, from the wall, same thing. You can do a little bit of a longer hold. As soon as you take that one arm off, you should be feeling it in the core a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really great job, everybody. Take a few seconds, get a quicker drink. Let the breath relax a little bit. Great job today. Three rounds through. Great 45 minute workout. And stick down for this cool down. And talk about, about the pillar of the week, which is sleep. All right. Hope you all are feeling good watching this live or recorded. Been a fun stream today. Had a good time. I hope you are as well. Let's get into the cool down a little bit. So let's start off with some self hugs. I think it's like you're giving yourself a pat on the back. Great workout today. Same thing. You're just doing a little bit of dynamic stretching in the shoulder, freeing up that range of motion. We're going to keep moving through this for a little bit longer. Same thing, really want to stretch out these shoulders. We did a lot of shoulder movement here in today's workout. All right. Now we have the shoulders loosened up a little bit. We're going to go back into these leg swings, which we did do in the warm up a little bit. Same thing, letting that leg swing back and forth like a pendulum. Same thing, if you want to try this without the wall, coordinating the arms with the legs definitely helps keep this swing in balance. The same thing, 
other side now. You can use the wall. You can be trying to do it with your balance. Just do what feels comfortable. I think I'm losing my balance a little bit here and there. That's completely fine. Like to think that losing your balance is just as good information for your body as keeping balance. Same thing every time you fail, you just getting new information to the body. All right, great job with that. Same thing, we're gonna be doing a little bit of passive, not really passive, but active knee motion. A little bit cut off by this little thing, but same thing, you could take a seat or we could also a ground variation in a sec. Just gonna be sitting down. I think it's like you're trying to kick a soccer ball as lightly as possible. Just getting this quad and hip, everything moving. And the same thing, I'll go this way. You can also do this lying down on the ground. Same thing, just kicking the foot up to the air. So seated or lying down, find that variation. Just thinking of pointing that toe to the sky. All right, we're gonna be switching up the legs. Same thing, other side. Great job here, everybody. Just keep, same thing, pretend you're still trying to lightly kick that soccer ball. Same pattern, a little bit different position. All right, great work with that. I'm going to do one more stretch, and we're going to be going through some deep breathing. Same thing, these. Just a little bit of an overhead stretch. Same thing, going to have one leg forward a little bit. We're just going to reach up, thumbs to the sky, a little bit of a lean back. Same thing, other foot forward, a little bit of a lean back. Same thing, you're not going to go really excessive here. Same thing, I'll show you from the side how much I'm really leaning back. It's not that much. It's really trying to get some overhead range motion, a little bit of hip stretch as well. Good work, everybody. I feel this a little bit in the core, especially in this leg that is back. I feel a little bit on this front side of the hip. But that's also going to depend on how much range of motion you are getting with this stretch. All right, shake things out a little bit. Let's finish off with some deep breathing here today. So I could start, take some deep breaths into the nose and out through the mouth. Try to be taking long inhales and be exhaling longer than you're inhaling. So big deep breath, fill up the chest, fill up the stomach with air. Let all the breath push out of your body really slow. Breath. I want everybody to try to get at least 10 breaths here. I want to make a few final comments. So as always, thank you for being here. Really appreciate the support. Really appreciate everybody showing up live or recorded to improve their life through health and fitness. Really just trying to make health and fitness more accessible. You know, there's a lot of barriers to exercise such as cost, transportation, time, not having equipment. So we're trying to break down those barriers by giving you a free bodyweight workout that can be done in the comfort of your own home with no equipment. And so, that's a little bit of spiel of why we're doing this. And if you all, any, if you want to see what more we have to offer as far as our virtual programming, community events, blogs, social media, make sure you check out that link tree in the bio. Check out the website at connectedchs.com. So just want to give a quick shout out there before we move into these great tips about sleep. So if you were here during a Monday stream, you heard a little bit about some tips of how to improve your sleep habits. I'm here to give you a few recommendations coming from the doctors, coming from the research about sleep. So if you didn't know by now that for the average adult, they should be getting anywhere 
from seven plus hours of sleep. They haven't really identified a positive range. Some people say seven to 10, even seven to 12, the same thing that you're looking for a minimum amount of at least seven hours of sleep. Some people say eight is that golden number, but to have optimal functioning, not having any negative side effects coming from sleep, you're gonna want to be getting at least seven hours for adults. And same thing, if you are an adolescent still looking to get your sleep patterns, you are actually gonna want close to nine hours of sleep in your younger years as an adolescent. So really important. I could say for myself, I'm definitely getting a lot more sleep now as an adult than when I was younger. And so really how important this is for your development, for your cognitive processes, and just overall for your body. And you know, another interesting fact about sleep that you may not be aware of is that we actually spend one third of our whole entire life either sleeping or trying to go to sleep. You know, this is a vital bodily process. I don't think we would have evolved to need to sleep for a third of our life if it wasn't this vitally important bodily process. And so to show you how vitally important it is, from the research, a few things that were mentioned about sleep. So did you know that not getting the recommended amount of sleep, whether you're an adolescent or an adult, can increase your risk of weight gain, hypertension, heart disease, depression, immune function, brain function, increased pain, and, and actually an increased risk of death from not getting enough sleep, which seems very dramatic and seems a little bit excessive. You're like, hey, if I get six hours of sleep, does that mean I really have an increased risk of death? No, it's not gonna happen that fast, but consistently not getting enough sleep and with it impairing your immune function and increasing your risk of weight gain and all these other things, all these things compiled together can seriously increase your risk of death. The same thing if you have a weakened immune system and then you get sick from another thing, this could be, it was already weakened because of sleep. This could be, you know, a factor that plays into this role. And so same thing, I know in the last stream there was a few tips about sleep, how to get better sleep. I'm just gonna drop you off a few more from the research and the same thing, you know, look forward to this blog next week where I have all these sources and I'm going a little bit more in depth, but just a few quick recommendations from the experts. Um, so one of them is avoid napping midday. I know a lot of times this can be difficult, you know, especially if you had a stressful thing, maybe you didn't even get enough sleep the night before and you're just really trying to get your, you know, what they call sleep debt, <laughs> recover some of that sleep time that you may have missed the night before. So I know naps can be needed, but generally if you're trying to improve your sleep at night, you might want to avoid these during the day because this can make it more difficult for sleep. Another recommendation is to use your room for sleep habits. Sometimes maybe if you have mentally associated your bedroom with maybe watching TV or playing video games or something of that nature, then when you're trying to go to sleep in your room, it might not feel like a place for sleep in a sense. But say if your bedroom is, you know, maybe it's only used for your bedtime routine, relaxing before bed, you know, that can also kind of help give it kind of some psychological connections, mental connections with this, the bed being a place for sleep. Another recommendation is to not exercise three hours before going to bed. Anything before that is generally okay, but a lot of times this gets your um, sympathetic nervous system activated and you're really kind of amped up a little bit after sleep. So it can definitely make things more difficult, you know, trying to get to sleep after maybe a late workout. So another thing they kind of make that consistent, one thing they mentioned is to try to routinely exercise at the same time each day. The same thing. I know our streams are at different times. We're trying to get into, you know, get all people. So maybe some of the people that are following us along at 12 o'clock at 530 don't feel like they're missing out because they can't make the 730 schedule sort of thing. So we're always gonna have replays at that 7 30, 12, 5 30, and actually all day on Twitch. Mm -hmm. But same thing, try to get into a consistent workout schedule. And my last tip is to avoid large meals before bed, getting the digestive system working and things of that nature right before going to bed can definitely, you know, make create difficulties in sleeping. And hello, Snug, good to see you. It's been a while, great to see you in here today. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Sorry, I didn't see that initially. 
But yeah, so those are some of my tips about sleep, about how sleep is so important and all these factors of why you really need to get that recommended amount of sleep. Now, like I said before, it's not just random. It's not just a coincidence that we sleep for one third of our life. It's because this is very vital to our bodily functioning. So that being said, make sure you get some extra sleep tonight. I know it can be difficult with schedules, long hours, but try to use some of these tips I mentioned. Maybe try to get to bed earlier. Same thing I know Seth left some in his stream previously. And if you want a little bit more detail, stay tuned. Subscribe to our blog and newsletter. It goes out every other week. Make sure you go check that out. Subscribe at connectedchs.com. But that is all I have for today. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in. I had a great workout. I hope you do as well, or hope you did as well. And looking forward to seeing you all. Wednesday, remember, is our off day. We're going Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday in our four-day week schedule. So look forward to Adam Fox here at 5.30 p.m. Tomorrow is going to be the live session. But as always, you can see some previous recordings at that 7.30, 12 YouTube, Facebook, and all day on Twitch with the previous workouts. So without further ado, everybody, it was great being here. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you again. I'm actually going to be doing the Friday stream. So if you want to see me, catch me live Friday, 7.30 a.m. And I hope you all have a great rest of the week.